which make uh, available by the oracle from the oracle side so easily where we can uh, define our structure that is a framework like uh, say all segments or uh, this according to the very first and second class what your uh, srinivas sir explain us so that uh, that requirement uh, we will meet very easily by using the existing uh, setup that is the accounting flexibility and uh, uh, based upon the requirement whenever there is a requirement then we will go with the, any other uh, the, the custom descriptive field trick here the term of the flex field means uh, the the structure available like the 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 first segment second segment cost segments balancing segment intra company segments so we are first defining this this thing how we are how we can, we are defining with the help of the existing account in flex field only okay. so it's so similar so you want to understand what is a flex field or what what is your question so um, for uh, uh, we have so many uh, modules right like glap or uh, fixed assets cash management oh. so what are the various uh, flex fields for that and uh, how that will be used for that particular module yeah in finance actually there is one flex field uh, accounting flex field which is shared by all other modules like scm inventory uh cost of costing module everywhere this accounting flexibility is uh, shared and accounting flexibility actually oracle provides that structure seeded structure where we can customize or personalize our uh, reporting financial reporting structure or chart of account structure using that accounting flexibility okay so there is without any back end customization like if you like in oracle if you build any form or build any report you need customization right back end coding but here accounting flexible if you are creating 10 segment it will appear 10 segment if you can up to 30 you can uh, play around with this uh, flexible right without any customization just functional setup that's why accounting flexible is the flexible which is shared by all other modules and it is the foundation of uh, financial reporting you can tell like that sir we have a uh, asset, asset key flex field for uh, assets and yeah. so, uh, we don't yeah, have any flex fields for but these are all not shared by other module for assets we can for asset how many flex field we have key flex field hmm yeah one is category category field yeah asset location flex field correct right and asset key flexible yes so for asset we have three mandatory flexible sir for receivable sir receivable actually there was a flexible but this not mandatory location uh, kind of flexible is there uh, uh, yeah that is customer territory flexible but for ap we don't have right sir huh? ap we don't have flexible we have inventory but, but we have flexible Okay, for for GL sir only accounting flexible itself. Accounting flexible and this is the key flexible, and then we have descriptive flexible. So what is the difference? Key flexible is the mandatory you have to build, but descriptive flexible is optional. In addition okay. to like any information which is not can be captured with the standard form, so standard flexible, you can enable the descriptive flexible and capture additional information. Uh, the DFA is available for all modules, like okay. uh, AR module, AP modules, fixed asset modules. When we are creating asset, in the asset uh, form, we will get some flexibility. If, if you enable, suppose you want to capture like uh, any standard field which is not available to capture this information. Okay. Okay. so yeah, yeah. and receivable uh, sometimes where if uh, there is a tca architecture and sometimes uh, the territory uh, along with the location also used okay. okay but it's depends upon the uh, need of the business acha aur jab interview mein puchta hai na 
when he is asking what is accounting flexible, just elaborate like that in four or five sentences. Accounting flexible is the seeded flexibility provided by Oracle, where we can customize and personalize our financial reporting structure without any coding or customize uh, without any backend coding. That okay. and it is shared by all other modules, and with help of accounting flexible, we can. Create our chart of account structure. Chart of account structure can be used for chart of account instance, where the complete uh, financial reporting will be based. Yeah. Like that, you can mention. Then you yeah, will ask next question. Uh, next question, you will ask like, how you design your current uh, in current project? What is your accounting flexible? How many segments you have? What is the purpose of segment? Then they will start like that. Then you can just ready-made scenario you build how to answer that. Keep in mind like uh, a dummy project kind of things. Like I when uh, this question will be raised, you can answer like that. I have seven segment uh, accounting flexible or chart of account for my current company. Company segment, uh, accounting segment. We have cost center segment. We have other project segment. We have location segment or geography segment. We have one future segment so in that way we are building our accounting flexibility as per the client requirement so you can mention like that professional okay, sir what is the difference between uh, this lookup type and uh, dff sir see dff uh, is flexible dff is a flexible as i told to capture additional information and lookup lookup is a uh, to capture any additional uh, code which can be used in the interface, like when you are uh, doing an integration, okay? And integration, you want to map something. For example, um, for example, you are uh, for in, in our current project, for example, uh, there is a third party tax tool or third party invoice. Invoice, AP invoice are coming from any third party tools. And in that case, how the Oracle system will know that uh, for which invoice belongs to which legal entity and which business unit. Okay. So in that case, yeah. you can use the use the functionality of lookup where you can create a mapping in the lookup that business unit or legal entity ABC belongs to that. And that mapping yeah. you with the third party. Whatever legal entity name defined in the third party tool. Same here in the lookup we have to define here in Oracle. So that integration will uh, recognize that mapping and uh, will pass the value, correct value. Yeah, yes, sir. Both are uh, additional segments only, sir. Or, uh, a, These are this not segments. Is, uh... These are not segments. Lookups are just codes. This lookup you can define. For example, asset type. Or <clears throat> asset type we have or uh, Anything additional uh, nature of the assets you want to define, for example, there are acceded uh, like uh, capitalized asset. Uh, yeah, we have uh, lease asset, but you want to create a different asset type, a retirement type, for example. We have retirement uh, asset retirement we are doing by selling, we are doing by trading, or by the asset is uh, asset value is completely reserved, then we are retiring. But there are three, four seeded value exists for at a re asset uh, retirement. But as per your business requirement, you want to create additional uh, lookup code, which can be used as a asset retirement type. That also you can define. Similarly, many examples, customer type. We have some customer types are there, supplier type are there. But you want to create additional supplier type, which you can use while defining the supplier. So once you create that lookup code, it will be available in the supplier LOV, but each lookup type and the models, uh, model specific lookup type are there. So you can just uh, select your model for which model you are creating lookup and uh, define. There are many uh, uh, functionality like uh, just to capture any additional code, nature of the assets, nature of suppliers you can create. And this lookup type can be used for importing any data from outside system. Also, you can oh. use it. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, for the confirmation, so uh, DFF is like uh, to add the additional columns in the table. 
lookup code can be used for uh, seeded and as well as addi additional uh, columns as well, right, sir? For list no, no, additional list. columns we are not doing. In lookup, see, lookup already we have asset retirement type is there. Let me go to, for example. Which is seeded. Which is seeded. For example, okay. do we have any asset uh, setup uh, is there? Uh, no, no, sir. I didn't have an knowledge on assets. Not setup, right? Okay. 